This video features some of the best riding around the Queensland New South Wales border. Starting from Rath Downey, it features Burnett Creek, White Swamp, Tulum, Paddy's Flat Roads before the featured part, Long Gully Road, Rocky River Road, and then Billarimba Road into Tenterfield. And this last section of riding has to be some of the best riding around the area. Known as a reasonably good road. Reasonably good road, this particular road. We're on this road for 22 kilometres. Maroon Dam, Boona, 46. Boona, Rathdowney Road, narrow, bumpy. Turn left on Burnett Creek Road, a bit of bitumen to start off, heading towards Long. Yeah. yeah, obviously they're all camping and skiing. Oh, that's a um, jet ski towing them, I think. Yeah, cow sh dung everywhere. <laughs> so we're still riding on Burnett Creek Road. Just, just going through the valley between all the mountains. I saw the brown, I wasn't sure what it was, part of the tree. The surface is firm, it's got a tire line on the cars. Just some farmland. Good view that house back there looking straight out those mountains. And the water on the causeway. It's a new bridge that one. Looks nice. Fletcher Road. Done. Yeah, it's quite a nice area. More cows. Staying, staying there, are they? Yep, just looking. isn't helping. Yeah, the inclines and the declines here are 12 degrees, 11 degrees. So, um, occasionally they put a bit of bitumen, suggesting the trucks use a low gear that's going down. Is there a speed camera? No. <laughs> Surveillance camera it is. Surveillance cameras. There you go. Welcome to Tenterfield Shire. Another steepy. We're now on White Swamp Road. It might have started back there in one of those sharp bends. Is that uh, Mount Lindsay straight ahead there? Okay, is that Mount Lindsay straight ahead there? GS Safari comes up this way in about a week's time. It'd be interesting to know what route they do, what road they head north on. We've basically come this morning from Sanctuary Cove and that's where they're finishing. One of our aims today is to do Rocky River Road, so we didn't take too much time to get to Bow Desert, for example. Yeah, much 
prefer it when it opens up like this. <laughs> it's just good having a bit of a view and some good light, better light to see what's happening. It's running a bit quicker here. Could have been, yeah, that campground we just passed, yeah. I think it's probably where the four-wheel drive stopped. Yeah, so the last five kilometres or so was sealed. Not, not as good as the, what we're looking at now. A bit patchy, but it was all right. Eight kilometres we'll sit on this for. kilometers on this road for Tulum Road. It's a good road. Oh, that's all new guardrail. It's um this is relatively new ceiling. Good view here. Still climbing up higher. Loom National Park. Oh, this is in the for, um, rainforest, isn't it? Yeah, we're taking this road from Woodenbong out to this road and then back down to Banalo and then down to the Bruxner. to Tulum, we're going to go to Paddy's Flat Road and this will take us all the way to the Bruxner just about the riding along the first part of Paddy's Flat Road was excellent but the GoPro battery was flat so we missed out on some footage we stopped opposite the Paddy's Flat camping area so Tony could wash the cow's poop off of boots and pants into the Clarence River which was an ideal spot to, to get it cleaned Amazingly, these concrete tetrahedron tank traps were built here as a line of defence against a pending Japanese tank invasion during the Second World War. Okay, Paddy's flat rest area just stopped. And I didn't clean the visor. <laughs> uh, funny. Yeah, it's been a very, very good road this. All different surfaces. Um, pretty interesting, continuously up and down, bends. Little gravelly, little clay. A big sign that says um, dry road, dry weather only. Well, that was deep. Oh, yeah. um, you could have washed your boots in that. Taking some bad lines there. I'm taking worse. <laughs> Come on, that's some dark cloud in front. You see how here the road changes its surface. The first bit, Paddy's Flat, is it Paddy's Flat Road, it was supposed to be sealed for a couple of K, but it was actually about twice as far. They've recently done some sealing. Just big corrugations. A steep climb.
typically you go down to a river, you, you go down to it and you climb out. Still climbing. The last 15 or so kilometres of Paddy's Flat Road is actually sealed. So this is not too bad a ride. The surface was pretty good. Yeah, the GPS has got all of this as dirt gravel road. But you can see the surface suggests that it's only happened in the last few years. After Paddy's Flat Road, we do about 15 kilometres on the Bruxner to Drake, then make a left on Long Gully Road. So Long Gully Road starts off sealed, it's off the Bruxner, and we're heading towards Rocky River Road. We should see the general stores that there. Hey, wow, boy. That's called um, Drake General Store. <laughs> uh, it's not in Drake. like we're going down to a crossing. Oh golly, got the pothole on the other side. Still Long Gully Road just winding around the edge of this mountain here. Pretty patchy. Narrow in places. River down to the left. We just went through four of these. This is the shallowest of them. And I turned the camera on for the last one. <laughs> the others had sand, deep sand, and as you let up mud, or Tony calls it mud, or whatever. Um, well, we've got a couple more, have we? Just an opportunity to clean the wheels. That's about 10 crossings. <laughs> Finally, the bitumen is finished. We are hard packed dirt. Yes, cars have been through, carried the water up a bit. Twin Gully Campground. Well, people are at it. Hmm. Oh, your bikes are over there, a couple of them. There you go. Three crossings in a row come up here. This is called Long Creek. So this Long Gully Road keeps crossing over the Long Creek. <laughs> Road's nice and smooth. 
nice down there. That, they must have had a swim, is that what they were doing? Yeah. Rocky River Station. Oh, the name of the farm. Lower, lower Rocky River Road. Probably meaning south. After you cross this bridge, the road becomes Rocky River Road. Uh, double water crossing. Yep. No, not much water on the second one compared to the first. Yeah, my fingers cramping. <laughs> Yeah, Rocky River Road has some nice looks, nice pieces looking. A bit of rain. Oh, they've had some rain in the four wheel drives and chopped it up a bit. I got all my visor splashed again. Hmm. Oh, it's picking the little one up, isn't that clever? Gee, it took the calf with it, didn't it? it, it yeah, it ushered the calf off the road. This one here is having a look. see the other mm -hmm. no he's walking off over on the left Yeah, it's very nice. It's actually a little bit like um, Grafton Road, old old Grafton Road. It's a lot smoother than old Grafton Road. Well, the potholes on it anyway.
interesting. There's a bit of corrugation down here. Give it some throttle. I'd have to say I'm glad we've had the recent rain. We've ridden soon after the rain because it was much more interesting having a bit of water flowing in the creeks and the rivers and the causeways it's just made it a bit more fun for the ride got rid of the dust and I've probably enjoyed it more than Barry Way and the bridle track Horse. Away he goes. Go on underneath this one. little one doing have been through road right now it's absolutely smooth as you'll see a water truck up a little further so I think they're actually hosing the road down a little bit as well it's fantastic in meaning there's no dust at all just the occasional slightly slippery bit but the Midas tyre traction seems to be very good That was all the climb up, now it's head down.
after this bridge crossing over Demon Creek, the road becomes Billy Rimba Road. I think that's how you say it. Change batteries on the GoPro and the microphone didn't plug in properly so the sound will be a little bit different. Billy Rimba Road is about the last 30 odd kilometres through to Scrub Road and you can tell you're on a different road now. It's nowhere near as tight as Rocky River Road and it's a lot more open. We were enjoying a few kilometres of relatively steep riding and then all of a sudden you'd start to come across all this gravel which had basically been dumped on the road and so this was happening for a few more kilometres as well. The last 12 or so kilometres of Billy Rimba Road is sealed and the surface is pretty good. Isn't Tenderfield the hub for some of New South Wales' best roads? You've got on the Bruxner to Drake, Rocky River Road to Drake like we did today, and the likes of Gunya and Pies Creek Road to Deepwater. We've really had a great ride today, and the GPX file is linked from our Facebook page.